we had uh, about uh, 50 people connected and we had a good interaction with the observers uh, with questions uh, asked before the meeting and during the meeting, during the Q&A session. And the main topic for discussion this morning was uh, a draft opinion on um, the an advice to the Commission on the nutrient profiling models, um, more precisely um, the, the nutrients that could be chosen uh, for the use of those uh, nutrient profiling uh, models in relation to front of pack uh, labeling and also uh, the, the decrease of the use of health claims. Um, we endorsed this draft opinion, which is going to be launched quite soon for public consultation. Um, I want to emphasize that uh, uh, our role was to give scientific advice to the Commission, but um, the choice of the nutrient profiling model uh, is in the hands of the European Commission and on uh, of the uh, member states but it's not in the remit of, of EFSA to do this. So on the first day of this uh, plenary meeting, we had a uh, discussion on four different um, novel food uh, applications. One of them was related to an engineer nanomaterial. First time we dealt with this kind of novel food. So it was an interesting exercise uh, combining the um, information from three different guidances, one of, on the uh, nanomaterials, the other guidance on novel foods, and the third one on nutrient sources, because this novel food is also a source of, of nutrients. The uh, area of novel food is changing over the years with new topics as this one, engineer nanomaterial, we also had the opportunity earlier this year to um, discuss and also adopt uh, novel foods with alternative proteins, either from, from plants or from insects. So it's a brand new area where we need to, of course, gain more experience, but um, a, a very um, um, interesting area of, of uh, exercise of risk assessment in the field of, uh, of novel foods. 